we are indeed at one of the greatest stages the sports world has known. We are at Fenway Park on a day where, yeah, the calendar says September, but the vibe is October right now, getting ready for the Yankees and the Red Sox on Fox this afternoon. And a lead that was once 14 and a half for Boston is now down to four and a half for Boston in the East. The Yankees have that wild card safety net. They are three and a half up on the Detroit Tigers. We welcome you to Fenway Park. For welcome to Fox Saturday's Baseball. I'm Andy Pettit, and here with today's lineup. Batting first for the New York Yankees is our left fielder, Johnny Damon. Uh, batting second, our shortstop and captain, Derek Jeter. Batting third and playing right field, Bobby Abreu. Batting fourth, playing third base, Alex Rodriguez, better known as A-Rod. Uh, batting fifth and catching, uh, George Posada. Batting sixth, playing DH, is Hideki Matsui. Batting seventh and playing first base is Jason Giambi. Uh, batting eighth and playing second base for us is Robinson Cano. Batting ninth, uh, playing center field is Milky Cabrera. And doing the pitching is uh, Chim Meng Wong, and uh, better known to me as the Wanger. And hopefully we get him a W today. Takes the mound. Detroit playing later on tonight in Minnesota. Now they've got to go against Johan Santana. The Yankees, they've got to go against Josh Beckett. And he is a stopper, but on the other hand, so is Chin Ming Wong. <laughs> right. Josh Beckett, and the general manager of the Yankees, as is often the case on hand here. Breaking ball gobbled up by Euclid. And Beckett to the bag, one out. Sends one deep in the center. All the way back, going up, going out. Yankees on top. Right after showing the shadows of. Chipped along to third, and there's Lowell. Alex Rodriguez coming up. That was an exceptional sequence of pitches by Beck. Walked him. Another low. Jorge Posada. Great jump, and A-Rod is going to steal second base unchallenged. <laughs> You're a regular riot, McCarver. 3-2 pitch is inside. So a homer to Jeter. They're now back-to-back two-out walks to A-Rod and out. And when you bail out, you feel like the bat weighs about twice as much as it really does. Now he goes after the first pitch. And the slump continues for Matsui. However, Jeter was spot on in the top of the first. Long home run. 1-0 New York. Welcome to Fox Saturday Baseball. I'm Clay Buckholtz. Your starting lineups are for your Boston Red Sox second base, Dustin Pedroia. First base, Kevin Euclid. Designated hitter, David Ortiz. Third base, Mike Lowell. Right field, J.D. Drew. Catching, Jason Veritek. Left field, Eric Hinsky. Center field, Coco Crisp. And shortstop, Julio Lugo. And your starting pitcher is Josh Beckett. Boston Red Sox starting lineup brought to you by Taco Bell. Think outside the bum. We got the Red Sox Yankees big time series going on. Couple of soft spoken guys from Houston reading the lineups for us. Thanks to Andy Pettit and to Clay Buckholz. Now here is Chin Ming Wong, another 18-game winner on the mound today. And as we said in the opening, he does it differently than John. And three in his last 20 decisions. Wong gets a ground ball, but Pedroia gets on base. 
eight-game hitting streak for Dustin Pedroia. Let's send it back to the Fox Television Center. Lugo and Coco Crisp, yep, they're primarily. The, the eight-nine guys in the order today. There's a rip and a miss by Euclid. Normally a contact hitter, but he's out of there without contact. Dave. Ripped in a right field. And it's down in front of Abreu. Into that bright sunshine out there, and Abreu just kind of jamming on the brakes, making sure the ball didn't skip by. Yanks down the line, and at Caroms, the Red Sox are going to tie the game. It's a single, and it's one to one. second base the J.D. Drew now 9 of 58 lifetime against the Yankees that does move the runners along though Jason Veritek coming up college ball at Oregon State pounded on the ground it rattles off of Giambi he recovers and the Yankees are out of the inning runners stranded at second and third one one after one on Fox up today and tomorrow night uh, equally good. Kurt Schilling, Roger Clemens. Giambi hoisting it into the air and again the sunshine an issue out there in right field. J.D. Drew handles the baseball. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast unit, Mr. Ken Rosenthal. Hello, Kenny. Josh, the link. Occasionally. <laughs> Pedroia gets up, fires, oh. got him. What a play. What a player. The Yankees got theirs on a long home run by Jeter. Beckett pours it in there to Cabrera. Strikes him out at 95 miles an hour. We're still tied at one. That one, and Hinsky knew it, was right there. We're talking about the rate the, uh, the rope jumping. Yeah, no, I see. Yes. That was all the rage. Yeah. <laughs> Coco Crisp into the glove of a lunging Cano for out number two. But they got a very hitter friendly ballpark to, to do their work in. Sure. Wong not impressed that it's a hitter's ballpark. That is a 1 2 3 second inning. We're still tied 1 1. Back after a word from your local Fox station promotional campaign. Yep, fans getting in there making their own uh, their own ads. Beckett able to gun it in there. Out number one here in the third inning. If you haven't seen That's the ritual there. <laughs> Jeter over to third. Vacuumed up by Lowell. And that is out number two. Dane, again, thanks so much, but Absolutely. continued success. Good luck with the movie. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Thanks, Dane. All right. Good stuff. Dane Cook. Act <laughs> and that is a base hit into center field. Of all things, a, a rope. And A Rod, shown moments ago. Right. But not with Rodriguez up there. On the outside edge, down he goes. For stretch run. <laughs> that would refer to Dustin Pedroia, who is alternately referred to as a little rodent and peewee by his manager, Terry Francona. When I asked Pedroia about that this morning, he said to me, first of all, the perpetrators are a bunch of dorks. And he vowed to take revenge, saying, I'll find out who did it, and they'll get theirs. It, it used to be that the manager here was called the, the gerbil. Bill Lee hung that on Don Zimmer. Now you got the manager calling his own guys a rodent. Well, the manager of the Red Sox, Terry Francona, plays cribbage every day with Dustin Pedroia and beats him 
regularly. Well, there's a busted bass. And Euclid, who's normally up there for a while, is disposed of very quickly for out number two. Terry telling us before the game that he, nope, coming back inside. Inside and down, and Ortiz is on. To give you an idea about how Ortiz. I'm not going to help out Chin Ming Wong. Back to back walks with two out. And a guy who's still trying to prove his mettle in many ways here is the Red Sox. J.D. Drew coming to the plate. Sixteen straight takes by the Boston Red Sox, and the bases are loaded for Veritek. under it makes the catch and the Red Sox leave him loaded 1-1 at the end of three on five.